Hey y'all, hey, Erica with Time to Shrink. It is the first day of September, so welcome to September No Spend slash Pantry Challenge. We're going to spend only on needs this month, zero on wants. That is our goal, and we're gonna try and save as much as we can doing that. We're gonna try and eat out of our fridge and pantry. I'm gonna try to not spend more than $50 a week on groceries, I'd love to say 25. We'll see what happens, but let me show you what we have to work with. Let's go through the fridge, the pantry, the freezer, and start planning for this month, y'all. All right, y'all, let's start in the door. Got a whole big thing of Kerrygold butter, another stick of butter, a little bit of cream cheese. Let's flip into this door. We've got some nut pods, y'all, I cannot. I cannot wait to try this. Nut Pods Pumpkin Spice. I love Nut Pods, y'all. I really, really do. I am fasting today, and I so want to try this, like, so badly. Oh, my gosh. I've got a little bit of some peppermint mocha nut pod left. A oh, little bit of heavy cream. Some Lakanto maple flavored syrup. And some Chalk Zero syrup. We have a ton of condiments. I'm not gonna go through all those. We are decently stocked. We're gonna start over here. Back in that corner is Alterna Sweets barbecue sauce, Parmesan cheese, some better than bouillon. Don't really ever use this stuff. I don't love the quality. I probably should trash it, but I hate to do that. Got an organic coconut milk back there. My legendary foods, Reese's peanut butter cup. A little bit of chili left. This is chicken broth, some salsa some jalapenos that I pickled myself. Let's see. Caroline has some hummus left and there's a few of those pimento cheese, pimento cheese singles left, not a whole lot. Coming down, this is a whipped cream dispenser. Got some almond milk, some green some green onions sitting in water so they don't go bad. Got more condiments back here, some mayonnaise, some mustards. I think this is some blue cheese. This is some broccoli cheddar soup that I thawed, some pizza sauce and some marinara sauce. This is just drinks, some premier protein and some kombucha. Got some avocado. Yeah, these are our favorite avocado mash from Costco. We've got a, quite a bit of those. Jack's pretty stocked as far as yogurts go. And we've got about half of a sour cream. Coming down here, we have some eggs. We've got stuff that I'm following for dinners for this week. So we've got some shredded pulled pork from Costco. We've got some beef brisket patties from Aldi. A little bit of meal prep left from last week. A couple eggs. A little bit of bacon. Y'all, how did bacon survive the week? That never happens. Uh, a little bit of pumpkin puree. Some black soybeans and a little bit more chili back there into the drawers this is usually typical this is typically my meat drawer got some pepperoni not a whole lot some hardly any ham left i've got some cut the carb wraps down there this is american cheese for queso got one thing of hot dogs and we have a lot of cheese this is the cheese i use for my son's quesadillas got mozzarella another thing of mozzarella this is sliced sharp cheddar a full thing a big block of cheddar some little individual mozzarella balls that care takes in her lunch and a big thing of blue cheese so we have quite a bit of cheese but I'm definitely gonna need to buy some lunch meat this week this is relatively empty because I haven't prep school lunches this is where I keep school lunches Jack has a little bit of bread and then this is gluten-free bread and then over here, I have four little snack plates left. This is salami and cheese. And I use these to cut up for Care's lunches. So that's the fridge, y'all. Shut. That's the fridge. All right, first freezer. This is a cauliflower rice that has like a seasoning packet in it. There's two more packets in here, I think. Really good. Some veggie pastas for the kids, some broccoli, one thing of meat. This is sausage balls that I had food prepped and a big thing of spicy sausage, which is great. Oh, there's another, did not realize this was in here, y'all. There is another ground organic beef. That's nice. 
And then this is all veggies, mostly cauliflower. Yeah, almost all cauliflower. Different types of rice or mashed cauliflowers. And then a little bit of broccoli over here. Going into this drawer, this is food prep station. So some muffins that have been food prepped. There are some meatballs that have been food prepped that I'm going to make this week, actually. I probably, I'm going to put these in the Instant Pot this week. It's just a bunch of meatballs. And I'm going to make barbecue meatballs. Some gluten-free bread. Some low-carb bread, two different kinds of low-carb bread, some sausages, some fat bombs. These I put in Caroline's lunch. Going up one more, we have a bunch of a bunch of frozen fruit, some frozen herbs, a bunch of smart cakes that I put in Caroline's lunches, or she has a snacks, some smart buns that I have rarely, but I like to have, and this is a little bit of hazelnut meal flour back there and flax flour. So that is what we have in the freezer. Oh, let's see if I can stand up. Moving on to the pantry, let's just run through this real quickly. My goal is to use a lot of this if I can. Um, we've got, oh, I was I had on my list to get tortilla chips. We have a huge thing of tortilla chips up there. I don't know how I missed that. Thing of wisps. This is some Chalk Zero for Care, and these are little coconut clusters that Care has as snacks. This is kind of my snack drawer. It's like got different keto bars and pork rinds and cheese crunch. A bunch of Duke Shorty sausages that I use when I travel. That has a little bit of seaweed left and a bunch of Zip Fizz left. A little bit more Zip Fizz up there. Let's see. Going into the drawers, we've got a decent amount of canned goods. We've got a bunch of green chilies, a few things of coconut, some mushrooms, some artichokes, some tomato. One more thing of avocado oil mayonnaise, which I did not realize was in here. I really, really like this chipotle one, so that's good. Some hot sauces, some chicken, some different spices and barbecues, peanut butter, just that kind of stuff. Um, some soup broths. This is some low-carb fettuccine. We have not tried this yet. I'm excited to try it for Caroline. And then just some regular pastas and stuff for my son Jackson. Moving down, this is more snacky stuff. This is snacky stuff for Jackson that he takes in lunches. A bunch of little to-go Max pork rinds of different flavors. Some skinny pops of different flavors, just snack stuff. But looks like we, that goes up there. Looks like we have a whole nother Parmesan cheese. We'll be making some Alfredo sauce, y'all. Let's see. A bunch of different nuts and snacky things. More pork rinds, popcorn, onions. And that's pretty much it. There's no food down here. This is just like storage stuff. So that's the pantry, y'all little bit more pantry stuff y'all I did want to show you that I am somewhat stocked in the baking department so we can do some baking got some different kind of sweeteners a bunch of different sweeteners some these are my baking spices and then down here I have that is some pork rinds it looks like we have some this is trim healthy mama baking flour looks like we're getting low on cocoa Lots of almond flour. I think we got a decent amount of coconut flour. So we've got that kind of baking stuff going on. And then I do have a couple other little pantry areas. I don't have a huge pantry, so I kind of have to spread it out. Um, in here we have extra coffee. This is our overstock of Zip Fizz, because you know your girl cannot run out of Zip Fizz. And then I have more of these pumpkin spice nut pods. I ordered a four pack, so I'm hoping I like that. And then it looks like we have some more pork rinds up here. This is kind of my travel bag, so it's got all kinds of snacks that we can dive into in here. I usually just take these when we travel, but we can dive into them this month if we need to. Why don't you show them what's up here? Show them what's up here. The top of this is my bar, y'all. So we have a little, it's not super well stocked right now, but we've got some wine and some alcohol. So. We shouldn't need to buy any of that this month. And then coming down to my laundry room, I'm doing tons of laundry, y'all ignore that. But I had Jason put this up in the corner of my laundry room. So this is kind of overstock of stuff. So we've got some chicken broth, some peanut butter, some condiments, some more peanut butter, some more peanut butter, some more chicken broth, some sauces, 
Some more condiments, baked beans. Oh, look, there's an enchilada sauce. That's good to know. Some more stuff to make tomato sauce with. Some chicken. Some marinated cauliflower and a ton of hot sauce and collagen. So that's kind of a backup stock of stuff. Y'all, I came outside and my camera immediately fogged up, so we'll see if we fog up again or not. Super humid and hot. We have a hurricane headed this way, and or maybe we're still watching Hurricane Dorian, totally praying for everyone in the Bahamas and whoever else is going to be affected. Man, Category 5 over the Bahamas. Okay, we're fogging up again. Let's get going. Sorry for the foggage. Okay, we're in the freezer. I have some bread that I've had for like months because the only person that eats this is one kid. So it's hamburger buns, hot dog buns, regular bread for Jackson. One meal that we had meal prepped and then a bunch of gluten-free bread for my other son. Bunch of cut the carb wraps. We have not been going through those, but man, do I love to have them. Um, we have a couple packs of bacon back here, which I did not realize. That is awesome. I think that's gonna go in the house. We've got Looks like some steak that's getting a little freezer burn that we need to eat. So we need to eat that. We've got some grass-fed ground beef. One more thing of shrimp. We've got some pork. We've got, what is in this? Oh, this is a bunch of, these are a bunch of marinated pork meals that I made. Chicken wings. These are ribs. Ribs. And then what's a in? A bunch of butts that were on oh, sale. Oh, those are a bunch of Boston butts to smoke because they were on sale. And then we have one that has already been smoked that is ready to thaw and eat at some point. Some hot dogs, let's see. I don't even know what that is. Sausages. Oh gosh, we have a lot of Here's sausage. Thing is chicken. Okay, we have a lot of sausage, so we'll be needing to eat some of that. We've got, this is some chicken. I actually have a plan for this here soon. We've got mozzarella cheese. Have three things of bone broth in the door. Then I have a bunch of cauliflower in the door. A couple of cream cheeses in the door here as well. God, it's hot. So yeah, I kind of have stuff stashed all over the house, y'all, because my pantry is not huge, so I just have to stash stuff where I can. So that is everything that we have, y'all. Let's sit down and go through meal planning and get this month going. So we looked through our freezer and pantry and know what our stash was. So the next thing I do is I sit down, I look at my calendar to see what is happening and I just realized I wrote soccer on the wrong weekend. It's actually the 7th and the 8th. Here we are this week and this is what we have going on. However, we're supposed to get a hurricane here so that may mess with our plans a little bit but we're not counting on it as of right now because maybe it's still going to turn out farther and it's not going to affect us too much. So anyways, the next thing I do is I get out my meal planning board. I kind of do things in stages. This one is my messy version. I can cross out. I can make my grocery list. I can just make it a mess. And then once I have this done, I get my actual planner out. Love my planner and write it all out here. So we saw in the freezer we had those barbecue meatballs or those um, meatballs that were in there that I didn't even realize. So I'm going to throw those in the Instant Pot and make barbecue meatballs. And I'm going to serve that with some of the frozen veggies that we have going on. I set out some grilled marinated pork and I'm going to make a gluten-free mac and cheese. I may make the cheese sauce separately. Usually I do this in the Instant Pot. I may make the cheese sauce separately so that those of us that are doing keto could have a version of it also. We'll see how adventurous I feel. Then that smoked pork that you saw I pulled out, what I'm going to do with that is make it taco style. It doesn't have any seasoning on it, so I am going to season it taco style and we'll have that on Wednesday. And then Thursday, I'm going to season the barbecue with actual barbecue sauce. Alterna Sweets barbecue sauce is a keto sauce that I love. And we had a ton of blue cheese, y'all. So I'm going to make a blue cheese coleslaw to go with that. Friday is going to be leftover because I'm sure we'll have some from these days. And then I'm going to plan to be out of town Saturday and Sunday. If we're here, we'll readjust out of things that we have. So that'll be fine. And then the next thing I do is I decide when I'm going to meal prep. So this week we're going to do chicken salad for lunches. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm left-handed, so I don't know when I'm writing this, if y'all can see me writing this or not. This is my first time trying it with this setup. We're going to do some blueberry muffins. We are going to do kids' lunches as always. Stuff with fathead dough for the freezer. Each week, 
during meal prep I'm trying to do one thing that's like a batch cook ahead type thing something that's going to be in the freezer so I'm going to make fat head dough individual pizzas for the freezer and I'll show you how I do that and then I'm going to try these crackers that I found it's like kind of a fat head dough cracker it sounded interesting so we're going to try that and then I have queso that I need to make and that will go really well with what we have going on this week so I'm going to make that queso and I need to probably make an egg casserole for my son's breakfast because I think he's about out of the breakfast that I had pre-made in the freezer for him. So I'm going to make that egg casserole and I think I'm going to make a buffalo chicken dip. This is all out of stuff that we have pretty much. So then I go through both of these things and make out my grocery list and I try to do it by section. It just helps me think better. So meat. I need to buy some ham. I'm out of lunch meat ham almost completely, so I need to buy some ham. And that is really all that I have to buy meat-wise. Um, miscellaneous, I know I need some Duke's mayonnaise. Although, you know what? This is a no-spend month. We have avocado oil mayonnaise. We're going to make it work. We're not going to do that. Um, corn tortillas, I know I need corn tortillas. My son lives off quesadillas and I know I need those. They're gluten free. I need coleslaw mix. Oops, wrong place. I need coleslaw mix to make my coleslaw. Uh, I had said I needed tortilla chips but we found those in the pantry that I didn't even realize. And I also need to have some celery to go in my chicken salad and for my son. So we have that. And I think that's all we need for this stuff. And then extras, I include in my grocery list, like household stuff. And I need to go to Costco and get toilet paper, dish soap, and Dawn. Not dish soap, dishwasher soap. They are having this amazing deal at Costco right now, y'all, that if you spend $100 on this certain stuff and it's all like household stuff, you get a $25 credit. $25 back on stuff you need anyways and all of these things are on sale so even though it is a no spin month it makes sense financially to go ahead and stock up on this stuff so I am gonna go to Costco and get this and the rest of this I'll probably either run in Walmart or Aldi for oh I know one more thing dairy I needed cream cheese and heavy cream uh, we are keto after all. We definitely need our cream cheese and our heavy cream. And I'll probably get four of those and one of these. Because I'm making buffalo dip and fathead dough. So I'm definitely going to need cream cheese. And then I kind of just go through everything one more time and make sure that we have everything for all of this stuff. And we do. So, oh, egg casserole. I don't have a meat to go in that. So, actually, you know what? I have some sausage in the freezer, so I think I'm going to defrost some of the sausage for that. So, that'll work. So, this is all we need to buy. We're definitely going to be under $25 for this. This I'll be spending right at $100 on because we need it. I'm also going to get water at Costco because, you know, hurricane season, so we need to have tons of water. So, this is going to be the extras. This I would rather not spend on in this month, but because of the deals, and they are really good deals, we are going to get this. So, I will show you my grocery haul when we are done, y'all. But this is how I prep, and then I transfer it over here. This week, I kind of did it backwards, and I wrote on here first, and it reminded me I, why I don't like to do that. I like this to be cute. I like it to be pretty and here I've like crossed off stuff and changed stuff and that's why I like to do that here. I like to cross off and change here and then move it over here and make it look nice. I did it backwards this week and I'm not happy about it. That's the plan for this week. I'm going to run to the store. I will show you my quick grocery haul when we get back and then we're going to get into this month. Who's doing it with me? Are y'all trying a no spend? I know a bunch of people had said they wanted to try it also so it's going to be a good month y'all. Let's make it good. Here's our small little grocery haul for the week, y'all. I got two packs of Philadelphia cream cheese, a thing of ham, some celery, 
some tortillas and these should last us for the month. Some Angel Hair Coleslaw, Tricolor Coleslaw. And then I realized we were out of milk, so I got a milk. And Walmart did not have any organic heavy cream. And I don't like the brands that have the carrageenan, so I didn't get any heavy cream. We'll just do without heavy cream this week. The total was $24.53. So I hit my under $25 goal. I know I'd said I could spend up to $50, but my goal really is to try to stick around $25. So I'm really happy with that and that's the groceries for the week. Costco was closed today because it's Labor Day so I couldn't go get that toilet paper and shampoo and Dawn and those kind of things but I am probably going to run to Costco and get that stuff tomorrow and I'm guessing that's going to be right around 100 bucks but then I'll get 25 back and we'll be stocked up for a while with that stuff. So that is what week one is looking what? Ugh. That is what week one is looking like as far as planning goes. And I will check in with y'all next week and let you know how this week went and the plan for the following week. Talk to you soon. Bye, y'all. Talk to you soon.